You probably didn't expect to see me here again. <laughs> but I'm going to do something that I did not do. I'm going to destroy five colons and uh, give you the bad endings on all of those colons. I'm not going to take you along for the whole journey. I'm just going to pop back in at the end of every episode <laughs> and uh, just let you know what's different. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to go tear it up. I'll be right back. All right, we have reached the end of our first colon. She is still full of polyps and buildup and deposits and everything else. But we got a ring. And that's all she asked us to do. That's all I was paid to do. So that's what we did. That's all we're going to do because I'm Dr. Death today. I'm not fixing them. This is retrieval. There we go. All right. So let's see what becomes of our dear old patient. I'm excited. Kind of. In a weird way. After you rinsed off Mrs. Hargreaves ring, you watched with delight as she slid it back onto her finger. You'll be telling colleagues, friends, and relatives about Mrs. Hargreaves for years to come. Good anecdotes are hard to come by. You went to bed chuckling to yourself until you fell asleep feeling happy. In a few days, you will receive a phone call from her husband. He explains that she was rushed to the hospital and is being treated for septicemia. You fear it might be your fault. This was your last normal day. Okay, so she didn't die. She just got sick. Which... She didn't tell me to remove anything that was weird in there other than the ring. Anyway, we're on to Tuesday now. Uh, we all know how Tuesday ends. But, uh... We'll play it again anyway. This is all too familiar. We already know what's gonna happen. Can I cut it? Oh, wait, 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 wait! <laughs> I almost messed up. <laughs> I almost sent it away. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> you realized your mistake instantly. You attempted admirably to stop the bleeding, but the damage was too extensive. An investigation into her death was opened, and you plan to cooperate fully. Every time you think about what happened, you vomit. And that was Tuesday. That's okay. Wednesday can't be any worse, right? Hidden cargo. Oh, this was the fisherman. I forgot about this guy. All right, I'll see you in a minute. What if I don't want the pearl? Do I have to take the pearl? That was it. That's the end of Wednesday. You've never seen a parasite infestation as bad as this. The biological waste bag that contained the extracted parasites undulated as it sat on your desk. You know for sure you did not get all the parasites out of your patient. You prescribed him some strong pills to kill the parasites chemically. This might make up for the unsatisfactory job you did. He left your office looking a bit shocked and weak. That night your wife cooks you spaghetti, but you cannot eat it without retching. You take a long shower and go to bed early. You hope tomorrow will be a boring day, but it won't be. So the only thing that changed that day was I just gave him medicine. That's not bad, I don't think. Not really. I forgot this one. I remember now. This is the guy that kept eating and eating and eating. Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. I forgot this one was a longer colon, longer track. But we made it to our guy here. So I wonder if I have to kill it, or if I can just go past it. Let's see. What if I just leave it in here? Can I do that? Yeah? I mean... It's not telling me I don't... I guess I have to kill it. Can I just get you out of here? I guess not. Well, that's a different angle on it.
Just send that little piece ahead down there. That's it. Okay, let's see what changed on this guy. Your patient was immediately transferred to the intensive care unit. For half an hour, you sat and stared at the floor and thought about what you had just witnessed. You've never encountered anything like this, and you feel that your performance was inadequate. Later that evening, you're told over the phone that your patient is in a coma. You do not eat anything for dinner, and you barely say anything to your wife. She's very concerned for you. You think about your parents and wish you could ask them for advice. You finally fall asleep, but not for very long. Well, that was not good. But we're at Friday. The final day. This is the one with the clown. That's exciting. All right. I'll see you guys at the end. Okay. I think this is it. Pretty sure I just shoot that nose off and we're good to go, right? Yeah? No, he's still got a little fight in him. I forgot about that. So this guy's got everything left in him. He's got like maggots and peanuts and corn and it's just terrible. But we gotta get rid of the clown. There it is. There it is. That's all we're gonna do. There we go. That should be it, right? Okay. That's it. Let's see how terrible this is. <laughs> This has to be the worst week of your life. The hospital's board of directors called a special meeting about you. They discussed several accusations of medical malpractice alleged against you. You tried explaining all of the horrible events that happened this past week, but they did not listen. Instead, they asked you to retire and the medical malpractice accusations would go away. You had no choice but to agree. You now live in a quiet and inconsequential life. You cannot stop the nightmares. The end. <laughs> Quietly asked to leave is the name of the achievement. I can say without a doubt, that is the last time that I'm going to be, <laughs> wait, that is the last time that I'm going to play Revenge of the Colon. Unless something else happens, but I feel like I've explored everything that the colons have to offer. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoy content like this and want to see more in the future, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Squeeze out.